The Victorian town of Llandidno, known as the largest seaside resort in Wales, is known for a lot of things. Its pastel-coloured hotels, its popular North Shore, its Grand Victorian Pier, and its pesky and often troublesome seaside friends. But what it's not so well known for is its connections with Alice in Wonderland. In 2012, work started on an Alice trail that highlights the town's connections with Lewis Carroll's famous story. So far, the trail consists of wooden statues, a floral clock, a bandstand decorated with characters from the books, and a children's education centre. Town councillor Francis Davis is delighted how the statues in particular have been received. The statues have been perfect. They've absolutely gone down well. The tourists love them, the photographs they've had with them, the joy you see on their faces is absolutely a delight to see. I think they've made an impact in the town and I hope it carries on. The town council have invested roughly about £10,000. We think it's a, a good investment to make, as it, with the connection of Alice in Wonderland and the books, it will pr hopefully bring more tourists. Um, as I said before, the, the tourists seem to love them. It's, I think it's money well spent. And we're spending a bit more, hopefully, on some more statues. It's a good promotion, I think. It'll do the town a power of good. The larger-than-life wooden statues are the work of a Carmarthen-based sculptor, Simon Hedger. The statues, based on the White Rabbit, the Mad Hatter, Alice herself and the Red Queen, have certainly attracted a fair amount of attention from tourists and residents alike. I think they're absolutely wonderful. I think they're very sensory, very characterful and they appeal to all age ranges and I've seen all of them and they're absolutely brilliant. I think they're wonderful, I'm quite surprised. didn't realise that they'd got them so I assume that they're recent additions. I think they're really cool. Yeah, yeah. they're really good. They look really nice. And a lot of work gone into it. It attracts a lot of people I should manage to it. I think it's really nice. There is one statue, however, that has raised more eyebrows than most. There has been a train of thought that maybe she doesn't look like the Alice we've come to know and love, so maybe there may be some things happening in that respect. Uh, the, the statues are great. We have a Tweedledee and Tweedledum coming on stream very shortly, plus several other statues. Um, they're a talking point. And if people go away from London no talking about the Alice Link, which people are, I mean, just standing here this morning, we've seen many people stop, take pictures, talk about it, comment about it. It's got to be a good thing. Whether they say good, bad or indifferent things, people are talking. It's a positive aspect. Conway's Park Manager and Wales in Bloom committee member Peter Barton Price has helped pull together plans for the Alice Trail. He is the main man behind the floral block and he helped pick out the designs for the wooden statues. We got the drawings back in and not only did we want to capture the story but we also wanted to capture the spirit of Alice. Um, and to, to bring to it a realisation of the story rather than just a Disney adaptation if you like. So you've seen the sculptures that are out and, and some, and certainly Alice, um, isn't as you would necessarily perceive her as this you know, cute 12 year old child, but the process that she went through, they've certainly raised awareness, they've certainly caused in some cases some controversy. Um, but all in all, yeah, I mean they've been received very well. Clandidno's connections with Alice started over 150 years ago when Alice Liddell, the little girl that inspired Carol's tales, used a holiday in the Welsh resort. The Liddell family built a holiday home called Penmorva that used to be located on the West Shore. Sadly, despite objections, this was demolished in 2009 after it was deemed beyond repair. Penmorva was a disgrace that it got knocked down. It was a, it was a shame. The town councillors Janet Howarth and the town clerk and deputy clerk fought very, very hard to keep it open and standing. 
but the builders decided it wasn't worth it and knocked it down. There were over a hundred letters of protest about the, uh, the demolishing of the building. It was sold to uh, Arnold Construction um, and uh, it was reportedly um, in a bit of a sorry state, but um, I mean, I don't know the facts, but um, when I was in, in work, we had, a, we had a dinner there. It was run by an Indian family and it was absolutely splendid. There is a train of thought that the town has neglected its links. My earliest memories of uh, Clandidno are from the mid-60s when I was uh, six um, and my grandparents used to drive me back from the guest house to Colwyn Bay via the roundabout at the top of uh, Moston Street. And on the roundabout I always remember there were several of the um, Alice in Wonderland characters uh, illuminated. I moved away from the area for 20 years um, but I think that they disappeared around about the early 70s and I'd love to know what happened to them because they were a real asset. It's always been neglected. It, it's, um, I think there's always been this thought that there's been a train of thought that Lewis Carroll, Reverend Dodge, never, never actually came to Clendidno. And I think maybe over the years that has put people off actually trying to capitalise on the Alice in Wonderland story. On the lower slopes of the Great Orm in Happy Valley, there is evidence of an old trail that is in certain need of some TLC. These carved wooden statues were made for the refurbishment of Happy Valley. However, after 13 years, they look tired and worn and ultimately neglected. There is some thought that the door into Wonderland will shut for good if Shandidno loses interest in its heritage this time. One person that has never lost faith in Alice is Martin Bland, owner of the St. Tidno Hotel, where Alice Fidel first stayed when she was eight years old before Penmorva was built. Nobody actually knows when, uh, when Lewis Carroll met little Alice uh, because the two years of his diary are missing uh, and uh, we always like to think that it was uh, it was here in Clendid though but uh, there's no proof that, that, that um, Charles and Ludwig Dodgson ever actually came uh, to Clendid though but on his, in his writings it was said on his wanderings on the hills that he met little Alice so we always like to think it's possible on the Great Orm here. Martin has a vast collection of Wonderland memorabilia Furthermore, his daughter was crowned Miss Alice in the annual 1982 contest. Martin has collected an array of articles showcasing Alice, but his most treasured possession is one that money can't buy. The booking was for the whole family. That was a little family, uh, and uh, comprising. Well, I've got the I've got the census because that very weekend the census was was carried out amazingly, and uh, the yeah, all the details were were. Uh, were, 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 were produce on the census here. So we know that uh, Dean Little uh, came uh, with his wife, Serena, and uh, his son, Edward, his son, Edward, uh, and there were all three daughters, uh, Lorena, Alice, and Edith. Oh, sorry, four, Rhoda as well. Uh, and then there were servants and um, the governess, whose name is Mary Prickers. The real Alice may be long gone, but her spirit lives on in the town. Former councillor Ian Tenner is excited about what the future holds. There are things aside from the Alice in Wonderland town trail which, which plans are in motion to put in place and I can't tell you. Where we're standing right now, I can see something that you can't see. That people will be able to see in future years. There are things in Clandard now which will come alive in the next few years, which I can't say anything about, that have such strong connections with the books of Alice in Wonderland, Alice with a Looking Glass, all to do with that wonderful story. And it's going to be absolutely great. Once finished, the Alice in Wonderland town trail by itself, let alone all the other things which are happening, will be worldwide publicity. And to be used in brochures around the world in tourism departments, including Japan, Magnificent. It's taken a long time for this tourism resort to grasp its heritage, but they are fortunate it is still there for the taking. Now the time has come for Alice to pull Shandidno out of the rabbit hole.